Kia ora, Merepeka Rokawa Tate, and uh, I'm standing in this election. I'm standing for the Rotorua District Council. I would like to be re elected again because I would like to lift the debate around some of the significant issues that are impacting on our city right now. And, uh, and there are many, and so this is a time for some good, clear thinking. Um, I bring that. I bring um, a range of skills gained through work experience, and not only here but in overseas. I lived in Switzerland for many years and uh, I've been a resident here for such a long time now. This is also my mother's tribal area. I am of Te Arua, and I think that the, there are changes taking um, place in New Zealand that we should be aware of, we should all be informed about and we should bring that sort of um, knowledge to the, t to the table, um, in the, to the chamber in the Rotorua, for the Rotorua District Council. What are the key changes that you see that affect Rotorua particularly? Well, I think what I've seen, I was, a re I was elected in the by-election in 2011, and one of the things that I believe is that we do not see the linkage between central government, policies from central government, and the link and the impact that these policies will have here on our district. So that's something that I think we should be aware of. And whether it's the review of the Resource Management Act, whether it's the amendments to the local uh, to the Liquor Licensing Act, um, social welfare reforms are absolutely going to impact on our city. We have a high percentage of our um, citizens who are on, on benefits. And, and so, so we have to understand what are the impacts of central government policies on our city. And, and that wider understanding is absolutely crucial now. What? does council do to ensure those impacts are positive rather than negative? Well, I think what the council does, of course, is it's de it depends really on its officers to have this knowledge and, have, and to anticipate um, some of the outcomes. And I think that's all very well, but it needs informed councillors sitting at the table who can challenge some of the thinking of officers. I mean, we are the politicians, and it's not much good always um, nodding your head in a groupthink situation and thinking, well, this will be good for Rotorua, because oftentimes it's not. It's someone's interpretation. So this is a concern that I have about for, for Rotorua and our district council, is to bring that awareness into, into the... Uh, into the debating chamber and to have that rigorous debate now. I am concerned that we have a large percentage of our youth, particularly Māori youth, who are unemployed, who lack um, good training opportunities, who just do not get into it. And so, and so obviously later on in life their opportunities will be greatly curtailed because they haven't had the educational train or educational opportunities or training to get into to jobs that will pay them a living wage. So that is a that is a real concern of mine. What can council do to assist solutions to that? Well, the council has specific action. Yes, now the council has a role to understand is what is the what is the intent right now of the uh, Ministry of Education for our city, and and that's something that we have to understand is that. The Ministry of Education also has a major role in ensuring that our children get the education that's required to meet, the, to meet world standards and, and certainly op, um, job opportunities. So what are we doing now to, to get alongside with the Ministry of Education, to get alongside of our schools, to say what more do we have to do to create the climate? There is now, right now, there is a Rotorua Education Initiative um, and that's just being launched and that's going to hopefully make a major difference. Right, we also talk to business and there's still a level of concern that council isn't really supporting business growth. Yes, well council has a major role in supporting um, a climate of growth. Everyone in New Zealand and in Rotorua understands right now that the economic climate is tough but irrespective of that council can create the climate uh, to introduce uh, new money into this in, into our city. We can also ensure that when anybody comes in either to um, increase their business or to expand their business or to want to set up, what is it that we can do to make it happen? Oftentimes we put red tape and barriers and challenges in their place and that's unacceptable.